All right, so we're going to be continuing our HTTP Academy module, uh, attacking web applications with FFUF. Uh, so we're on the recursive fuzzing section. Uh, what's nice about recursive fuzzing is it uh, helps us to search for directories and files at the same time. So if it finds a directory, it's going to search for files in that directory uh, at the same time. Uh, so let's jump right in. So go ahead and spawn your target system. So that command, and we'll take a look at the cheat sheet here really quick. Um, so it's going to be this command right here. So let's go ahead and put that in. So it's going to be ffuf-w, again, the location of your word list. So mine's going to be in the user share directory. So web content, and then we're going to be using that directory, um, that directory list file, that small.txt file. Um, so I'll go ahead and put that in, dash small.txt, save it in the keyword fuzz, dash u, and then we'll go ahead and put the URL of uh, that web page there. So it's going to be 209.97.177.45, colon 306.94. And again, we're going to be going, uh, placing fuzz there for the placeholder. And then uh, it's going to be dash recursion, specify recursion. And then, of course, the depth, uh, we're only going to be using one. And then the extension is going to be .php. Uh, so what we found in the previous uh, sections is that this web server hosts PHP files. Uh, so we can save some time and specify PHP as the extension. And then dash V uh, for verbose to give us the full URLs. So let's go ahead and hit enter and then see what we get. All right. So let it do its thing. And I think we did find one already. So let me control C out of here. Uh, so if we scroll up, we'll see that we found forum as a directory. Um, one thing I like to do is to kind of clean up the output um, as I like to grep and then just do URL. And then once you hit enter, um, it'll give you the URLs in, in a cleaner format. Um, so you can kind of see it much, much, much easier. Um, so we can see there's index PHP uh, at the root there. Um, and then we can see there's blog, and then we can also see that there's forum. Um, so let's go ahead and check forum out. So what we can do, um, and you can see here it says adding a new job to the queue. So now it's going to search forum for all the files. Um, so let's take a shortcut. We'll control C out of here. Uh, we'll clear the output. Uh, we'll go ahead and run the same command, but this time um, we're going to do, instead of slash fuzz, we're going to do slash forum slash fuzz. We know forms a directory. Now let's see what's in there. Um, and then let's go ahead and, and hit enter. And then let it do its thing. So nothing found yet. Still searching. Oh, we can see actually here uh, there's slash index.php. Um, so we could take a look at that to see if there's anything interesting in there. But what you also notice that just popped up is a slash flag.php. So there's pretty much our answer right there. So we can go ahead and exit out of here. And then now to get the context of it, or the contents of it, uh, we'll go up to Firefox up here. We'll go ahead and type in the web server address here. So 209.97.177.45 colon 306.94 slash form and then slash flag.php. And there you go. There's the answer for you right there. Um, so pretty easy. Recursion makes this process a lot more faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and we'll talk to you guys later.